I just frustrated. I'm sad. I mean, how are you all doing? Comment below because the human connection will make me feel like a person again. What? Sorry. That one was supposed to stay up here. <laughs> Help me. Oh, there I go again. Hmm. I'm just really, really tires. Tired. Can't talk because of the tires. to give us permission first. There are sides to everyone that they'd prefer not to know about. But you're the boss, Thomas. Any information you want to know, you can know. You just have to be open to hearing it. In other words, would you like to learn something new about yourself, Thomas? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know either, Thomas. You might not like what you find. <sighs> Fine, tell me. Deceit! One, did unlawfully and rudely conspire to waive support of Lee and Mary Lee, who were then and there characterized as friends. Count two, did unlawfully and with malice aforethought falsely impersonate a better person. Count three, did unlawfully and surreptitiously prioritize his own desires and designs. Count four, did willfully and without authorization engage in a scheme to defraud Lee and Mary Lee. We don't have to do anything, but if you think they'd be cross about your absence, I didn't mind Roman's little Aunt Patty in the hospital excuse. April, lucky number 13. Ooh. Ooh, why are you saying ooh like that? Fear not, Thomas. I'm certain he means ooh, yay, so soon. Mm, too soon, and not late enough. He has a prior engagement, related engagement that day. Ah, <gasps> oh, oh, the wedding. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, how is that already almost here? Ah. Oh. I can't miss that. Well, can you reschedule the callback? Reschedule a callback? <laughs> oh, Patton, that's that's adorable. The callback date is inflexible. <sighs> Same as the wedding date. Yeah. And Lee and Mary Lee really want you to be there. Yeah. And they've always been there for you when you needed them. Yeah. <sighs> and you were really excited to go, too. Yeah. Thomas had forgotten that just a little while ago he had told his best friend Joan that he would attend a staged reading of a play that Joan had worked so hard on. You forgot? I mean, basically. In his downtime before the reading was to take place, Thomas was invited to hang out with this one particularly dashing fellow, which is a unique happenstance, let me tell you. And Thomas, sweet Thomas, innocently acquiesced. Yeah. Well, you should have no trouble at all explaining that to them. But midway through hanging out with this dude, Thomas remembered where he was supposed to be, supporting his best friend, Joan. We could have shown up during the intermission. As you can see, my anxiety started kicking in. But my hopes and dreams had something else to say. This 
Tyler was so flippin' cute. I mean, who knows? He could have been the prince of your dreams, other than this prince of your dreams. It was worth it to stick around. And besides, you had missed the first act by that point. It was already too late. And so they continued to fight the whole rest of the night, and I never left to go and support Joan. Looking at it objectively, so you guys can sit this one out, would Joan have wanted you in attendance for only half of the reading? I don't know, it's just being there for the sake of supporting them. And, and, and then this morning, this morning, they sent one text. Where were you last night? F word face. Look. <gasps> I mean, what do I say? The truth is honestly so bad. Well, the only alternative to the truth is a fabrication in order to ease their concerns. Oh, that's what you're implying that we should do, isn't it? Maybe. Lying is only gonna bring about more trouble, Thomas. You know this. Thomas, I know this sounds backwards, but sometimes lying is good. Mm, but you've said before that- I know what I said! It doesn't matter. In this situation, it is the right thing to do, period. Patton, no. Yes!